Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little pack opening. I got two of the value packs of Panini Prism Baseball. Uh, 18 cards per pack. Uh, these were $15 on Target's website, so you're pretty much paying, what, 90 cents a card um, for an unlicensed product. Um, these are the hanger packs. Now, last year, I don't remember them doing a hanger pack. I remember them having a value pack where they had, I think if I remember correctly, 12 cards per pack. And then there was a bonus pack of three cards, which were the uh, red, white, and blue parallels. Um, actually, now that I think about it, maybe the, the baseball one had like six cards. Maybe there was 16 cards in the pack last year. Um, but I think they called it a value pack, not a hanger pack. I know with some of Panini's product, they've gotten away from using the hanger boxes and they've moved to hanger packs, uh, based, be, uh, based because of the, uh, as I guess is a cardboard shortage, uh, which is also the reason why some releases have been coming out later, uh, than normal. So let's see what we get in that. I do like the look of Panini Prism. Uh, the only problem is them being unlicensed. It doesn't make me want to buy a lot of it, but I do like to buy some of it. Um, here are like the kind of cards you can find within these packs. They don't really give you the pack odds, but um, if you want to take a look to pause it and uh, see for yourself. Actually, it looks like there's a red, white, and blue parallels in here. So, um, so let's see what we get. It would be nice if we can get one nice rookie pull out of those red, white, and blues. Uh, Max Muncy. Jackson Kowar, rookie. Freddie Freeman. Alex Verdugo. CJ Abrams, okay. Jake Cousins. Anthony Rizzo. Jose Ramirez. Then we got a fearless Mookie Betts. Just, you know, insert Jared Walsh. Yep. And then the one thing, too, I never really kind of understood with uh, Panini, especially with the baseball, they do this Tier 1s, Tier 2, and Tier 3. Um, tier 1, obviously, is the most, uh, you know, regularly found. And then Tier 2 is a little harder to find. And then Tier 3. Uh, Luis Gill, uh, blue, parallel. That is number to 60, so a nice little numbered card, at least. Nolan Arenado, red, white, and blue. Yurin Marquez. Yastrzemski. And all right, Reed Detmers, not a bad one there. Yuri Gurriel and Anthony Bender. And rookie class, Matt Manning to finish it off. So not a horrible pack. The Abrams is nice. Pulling the Guild, number to 60 is actually a little bit of a shock. Um, I don't really remember pulling too many numbered cards out of these hanger packs last year. Now, granted, I think I only opened up maybe about four or five of them for the whole season. Um, I know I did an opening with maybe three of them. But I didn't go crazy with opening up a lot of uh, the value packs or hanger packs of uh, Prism. So uh, here we go. Second pack, Stuart Fairchild, rookie. Kershaw, Greg Diekman. Then we got Kelte Marte, Alex Bregman, Zach Reeks, Rex Reeks, Blake Snell, Willie McCovey, Stained Glass, Juan Soto. Not too bad. So far, two for two with these uh, prison pack openings where I've been able to pull the stained glass Juan Soto. Uh, George Brett, which I guess that's their tier three. And then I don't know if you can, see, I don't know if the camera's quite picking this up. Uh, you can see a nice little like line right down the, the middle of it. Uh, then we got Prism Lumber Inc., Josh Donaldson. I've had no problem pulling his cards, actually, too, out of uh, Prism so far. And our um, red, white, and blues, Ronzi Contreras. Not too bad. Nick Lodolo, okay. Decent name. I know we're pulling pitchers, but still decent pitchers. Ian Happ, John Gray, Trevor Rogers, Illumination, Freddie Freeman, and Stargazing, uh, Yadier Molina. So, I mean, like I said, the, the inserts... They're sharp. I do like the, sh the inserts. I think they're really sharp. Stained glass ones are pretty cool. The illumination, especially with all the colors going on, looks pretty nice. Stargazing's okay. Um, Lumbering's okay. I always like the red, white, and blue parallels for some odd reason with, um, with Panini Prism. Um, usually they're always the value pack exclusive. 
Um, I don't know, something about those I always liked. Some of the other ones are kind of hit and miss in my opinion. Uh, but, you know, especially when it comes to, you know, like either basketball, football, or any of the other sports too. Um, or baseball as well. But um, overall, it's Panini Prism. Uh, it's an unlicensed uh, baseball product. $15 a pack. I don't know how many of these I'm going to be opening up going forward. Maybe, you know, one here, one there. But uh, it's not something that I'm going to be uh, buying a lot of. I will buy some singles, don't get me wrong, um, of players that either I PC or want to collect. Uh, most likely I'll probably buy like the Julio, the Wit, the, the Wander. I'm not going to go chasing those particular cards at least. Um, just to kind of add to my, like, middle, my little mini base PC of uh, those three guys that I'm, you know, kind of doing. Um, just, you know, more for the fun of it, really. But uh, anyway, with the comments, though, let me know in the comments, uh, you know, what you guys think about these hanger packs. Uh, I did do a video on the blaster box uh, two days ago. So if you want to go check that out, greatly appreciate that. Um, but yeah, let me, know, let, me know the hanger, let me know what you feel about these hanger packs. Um, and uh, with that, uh, I'm going to sign off. Uh, if you guys are new, appreciate uh, if you guys if you subscribe, if you're new. Um, hit that notification bell for any of my future uploads. And with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support, you know, uh, the channel has been getting. Uh, big thanks to all you guys uh, for the support. And with that, have a good one, everybody.